guys want to know what it says? <laughs> Zdeno must agree to keep himself in a good shape or physical condition at all times post-retirement. Post <laughs> How much of a challenge for you, is it? Yeah, thank you. Mike's yours, bud. Thank you so much. Good afternoon to everyone. Um, thanks to everyone who came to TD Garden for this uh, announcement today. It means uh, so much to me and my family. Today, after 25 seasons, I'm officially announcing my retirement. I would like to start by thanking the entire Boston Bruins ownership, in particular, Mr. Jeremy Jacobs and Charlie Jacobs, for the privilege and opportunity to retire as a Boston Bruin. I would also like to thank Boston Bruins President Cam Neely and General Manager uh, Don Sweeney for making this happen, really appreciate it. When I started playing hockey as a young boy, I never imagined to be one day sitting at the press conference after playing in NHL for 25 years. This all feels surreal. It was very challenging to play with my size and height from early age, but even despite my, uh, being cut from uh, junior, a few junior teams at age 16. I was lucky to have my mom, dad, and sister who kept telling me not to give up and hard work will always pay off. There were a few people I would like to mention who saw potential and believed in me. So I would like to uh, start with uh, thanking junior B coach Indro Novotny and NHL scouts Janko Gajdošik, Kara Pavlik, and Anders Kalur for their support in those early years, also Radek Hammer and Yiji Hanish for their help. I have to thank Stan Butler and Dennis Polonich for helping me with transition coming over to North America and playing in a WHL for Prince George Cougars. I'd like to thank my agent Matt Cater for being with me for 23 years. I was very fortunate and happy to be drafted by the Islanders in 1996. So I would like to thank Mike Milbury for taking a chance on me, as well as Chris Pryor and Brad McCrimmon for helping me with my development. I want to also thank my first NHL coach, Rick Bonus, for giving me a chance on November 19, 1997, to step for the first time onto NHL ice. The Islanders were also part of my last career game. I would like to uh, take this moment to thank Mr. Lula Mero with his staff and Coach Barry Trotz with his team for everything during my time on Long Island last year. After Long Island, I played for Ottawa Senators, where under the leadership of Marshall Johnson and Jacques Martin, I was encouraged to play a more offensive game and develop my all-around game as a solid two-way defenseman. Thank you both. Before I move to my longest part of my career here in Boston, I also want to mention and thank Washington Capitals organization, Brian McClellan, and also Peter LaViolette and their entire staff were tremendously welcoming. In 2006, I became a Boston Bruin. Not only that, but I was honored to be named the team captain for one of the original six and most historical organization. I wore that crest with an incredible sense of pride. I would like to again thank Mr. Jacobs and his family for, for what they have done for me and my family over the course of 15 years with the organization. With Peter Shirelli and arrival of Claude Julien, I was able to take my game to another level. They gave me the confidence and every opportunity to play, play me in all the situation, and through their guidance, they helped me to become an elite player. Alongside Claude, I had two assistant coaches, Doug Huda and Craig Ramsey, who were very important for me in becoming and succeeding as a top shutdown defenseman. 
by believing in me and putting me out there every game against the best players in the world, my confidence grew. Even it was very hard on a nightly basis, I embraced the challenge and I loved being relied on. And I'm very grateful for their trust in me. I can't express how lucky I am to play with so many great teammates over the years in the NHL or Slovak national team. Trevor Linden, Ziggy Palfi, uh, Daniel Alfredson, Marian Hosa, Marian Gabori, Miro Satan, Peter Bondra, Alexander Ovechkin, Nikki Backstrom, John Carlson, Anders Lee, Zach Parisi, Josh Bailey, Yarmi Yager, both Davids, Great Shane Pasternak, Yarmi Yager, I said, uh, Anze Kopitar, Roman Yossi, Leon Dreisadler, and many more. Many Hall of Famers, many future Hall of Famers. I learned, uh, I learned a lot from all of my teammates on all of the teams I played for on and off the ice. But some of the best memories are with the teammates that we were able to reach the ultimate goal of winning Stanley Cup together in 2011. Bringing the Cup home to Boston and its fans created an unbreakable bond that we will share for the rest of our lives. Bergy, Marshy, Kretsch, Rex, Sachs, Luge, Horty, Kels, Rides, Bevs, our metal line with Tordy, Paisy, and Soupy, on D, Johnny, Fair, Sides, Quater, Kaba, Knights, and of course, Tim and Tooks. Some are sitting here today, and I really appreciate you being here. I love you guys and thank you. Just to see and meet legends like Bobby Orr, Johnny Busey, Getty Shore, Willie O'Ree, Milt Schmidt, just to, just to name a few, was and always will be a tremendous, tremendous honor. Seeing pictures inside the locker room and history they built made me realize how special it is to be a Bruin. I'm very thankful to meet them all. Having Bruin, Bruins icons like Cam Neely, Don Sweeney, Ray Bork, Ter Terry O'Reilly, Rick Middleton around the franchise is such an incredible privilege, not just for young players, but all the players. I would like to also take this time to thank all the trainers, therapists, and doctors for everything they have done for me when I had injuries in different places at different times. These people work in background, but should be recognized because they all, they all make a lot of sacrifices, working extra hours to ensure that we all get things done for us right away so we can perform at our best on the ice. I could not have done it with their help and support, so thank you. There are also hundreds of people who we don't see on an everyday basis, like team chefs, people who take care of arenas, eye maintenance, security guards, and list goes and on. Thank you all for all you do. I also want to acknowledge the media. There were times when we couldn't say everything, but I hope you know I always try to be respectful and understanding the important jobs you have in helping to grow the game. I do also appreciate the coverage you do for us, also spending late nights and times away from your families. To all the fans, you are such a big part of our game, and especially the city of Boston. I want to thank you for your support, for your passion and love. From all of the things, probably I will miss you the most. We, we were very fortunate to have you behind us, and we will always cherish the, mem cherish the memories from the Stanley Cup Parade and the entire city celebration. So thank you very much. I would, I would like to thank my family, my wife Tatiana, my daughter Elise, my sons Benz and Zach for their uncondi un unconditional love and support, especially my wife Tatiana. I can't thank her enough for raising our three beautiful children. It's a 24-7 job and it's not easy when your husband is away playing games, at practices or doing summer workouts. To drive kids to different activities making sure everything for school is done, or cooking your amazing meals. She's an amazing woman. She's the reason I could play this game for so long. I love you and love you all. 
looking back, I'm honored how I play and represented the, the, the Slovak national team at several Olympics, World Cups and World Championships. Th thank you all the fans in Slovakia for your support. I took tremendous amount of pride how I always prepared and trained myself for past 25 years. I always try to be, I always try to lead by example with dedication, discipline and a drive so I could help to lead and be the best example to my teammates so we could collectively push each other to be a better team on the ice and better people off the ice. When I started playing hockey, I would never have imagined being a part of the NHL or being part of the Boston Bruins organization and winning the Stanley Cup or earning Maurice Trophy or Mark Messier Award or even having the privilege of seeing my name next to several NHL records. I know I can walk away from the game with a gratitude, honor, and pride. And I'm not even walking, uh, I'm not walking completely away from the game, but now it's time I walk along my family. My family and I are proud to call Boston our home. It's the team and city that we, could, that we hold close to our heart. Thank you all again. There you have former Boston Bruins captain Zdeno Chara announcing his retirement, thanking the Bruins organization, his teammates, the entire hockey community, and of course the fans here in Boston. 25 seasons with the NHL, 2006 to 2020 with the Boston Bruins. Congratulations to him.